In Sierra Leone, nearly half a million children under the age of five have poor growth due to a lack of vitamins. Another 30,000 are suffering from malnutrition and are at immediate risk of death due to inadequate dietary intake and diseases. All this is according to the United Nations Children Agency, UNICEF. Now, a 26-year-old man in the north of the country has turned to the production of bread and porridge using local sweet potato to address these problems. BBC's Umar Fofana visited his farm. In this part of northern Sierra Leone, farmers are attempting a small revolution. Like most of the country, the region relies almost entirely on wheat flour to make bread. But this 26-year-old law graduate turned farmer is trying to change that. He and his team are producing bread from vitamin-rich sweet potato, a product that's new in the country. In as much as agriculture is not a silver bullet, however, it is a golden opportunity for us as a country. It's a special crop. Um, it's biofortified crop and a drought tolerant crop. So I saw a huge impact it will make, especially for people who are undernourished. It is high in vitamin A. And malnutrition causes reduced growth in about 30% of the country's under five year olds. Our aspiration as a company is to be um, a leading food manufacturer in West Africa, committed to addressing the huge challenges of malnutrition in the region. And he wants to harness Sierra Leone's fertile soils and rains and to reduce its inequalities. About 80% of the 350 farmers he works with are female. Before now, it was impossible to have anyone buy our potato. We ate it all, but now we do, and they pay for it up front. Our potato farming was only for subsistence purposes, but now we have started seeing more benefits. They buy it from us, and the money helps us look after our children's education and welfare. In fact, we want more potato seeds so we can plant some more and make some more money. And in the company's bakery, the potato is made into puree and flour, with the dough making 800 loaves daily, and the farm makes porridge and infants' food. This is the finished product. Unfortunately, I'm fasting, so I can't have a taste of it, but it looks pretty impressive. For many years, Sierra Leone entrepreneurs have been asking for local content. This simply just typifies that. From the sweet potato in that little village, right here, and onto the dining table. 35 retailers sell the sweet potato bread, supporting their families. Customers buy it because they say it's sugarless. Especially diabetes patients, they would come and ask for the bread without sugar. If you don't have it, they just go away. They buy it more than they do these ones made from wood floor. The government of Sierra Leone identifies nutrition as a key development issue, but there is little action to address this. And Sierra Agri is one of several new farms in the country offering nutrition-rich foods. Even with limited raw material and a short producing season, they are hopeful for a healthy future. Umaru Fofana, BBC News, Makeni, Northern Sierra Leone.